Go on, please. It was a win that ended 79 years of disappointment. A trademark backhand lob from Andy Murray and Great Britain's long wait for Davis Cup glory was over. Murray won all eight of his singles rubbers that year and it kick-started his greatest season ever. Twelve months on from that night in Belgium in November 2015, he was the world number one for the first time and had both a second Wimbledon title and a second Olympic gold medal in his trophy cabinet. But it would be simplistic to suggest that Great Britain were a one-man team that year. Murray may have drove them forward, but he was ably supported by his doubles teammates, not least his brother Jamie. And with the recesses of the LTA's National Tennis Centre, they had an unheralded hero who lived and breathed doubles, Louis Kayer. Born in Montreal, Kayer spent over a decade coaching the Canadian Davis Cup team before Judy Murray spotted him giving a coaching session to Jonathan Elric and Andy Ram in Monte Carlo and swiftly poached him to tutor Jamie. A 14-year partnership would take the Scot from outside the top 200 to doubles world number one and yielded seven major titles across men's and mixed doubles. Kayer moved to the UK and began his work at the LTA a year later. Thanks to his 2004 book, Doubles Tennis Tactics, he was already known by much of the talent he would be coaching. When I first came out of college, I knew all about him. I'd read his book about his philosophy. It was interesting to see, Ken Skupski said. It is this unique philosophy that has brought Kayer his success. He'd studied the game in terms of angles, Skupski said. It's not until you put ropes down on the court that you actually realize the areas of the court you don't need to cover. You think you have to cover everything, but you don't. That was very mind-blowing. For Kayer, every shot played must have a purpose. In training, players practice attacking and defending from all areas of the court in relentless scenario drills. He insists players must never give opponents two forehands in a row and the first volley must go to the juice player's backhand. My philosophy of doubles is that it's less about winning points than making your opponents miss, Kayer says. It's not so much being amazing, you want to make the opponents play badly. This is brought about by ensuring his charges have a game plan to combat any threat they could encounter on the doubles court. It takes a long time to develop a really dominant doubles team and learn to play against different game styles, so to have the response to every type of opponent takes a lot of time. Kayer stresses that a yearning for instant success may not be the right approach, taking instead a longer view. In 2013, after a brief gap of not working with Jamie Murray, he began coaching the Scot once more, warning him instantly that it would be three years before he could reach the ATP finals. He did so in the third year of their rekindled partnership, alongside John Piers. Kayer's primary focus is on bringing out the best qualities of his own players, rather than ensuring they have an all-round game. I like different because if you turn out exactly like the others, you have to be so good to be better than the others. But if you're different, everybody has to adjust to you. It's easy for you to be the best you, and it will be difficult for you to be the best of everyone else. His dedication shocks even the top pros. Bruno Suarez, Jamie Murray's old partner, once described his meticulous work as insane. I send him clips from my practice and Louis spends two hours watching it. He doesn't have to do that. People know he's amazing and a genius with that stuff. Kayer's impact at the LTA is there for all to see. In 2012, Jonathan Murray became the first Brit to win a slam doubles title since 1936. In addition to Murray and Murray, Joe Salisbury is also a slam winner and Heather Watson has a mixed title to her name. Britain also boasts eight men in the top 100 of the doubles rankings, more than any other country. His system works, all of the British guys bought into it and believe in it, Jamie Murray said. This has shown over the last couple of years with all the results the guys are having and his ability to bring so many players into the top 100. The Kayer effect has been observed from the outside. Salisbury's partner, Rajiv Ram, said, Honestly, nothing against the guys, but I don't think a lot of them necessarily would have had careers in singles to the extent that they have in doubles. They've become professional tennis players and had great careers because of the system they're in. With Andy Murray succumbing to injuries in recent years, it threatens to be a fallow period for the British singles game. But the doubles setup continues to flourish. According to Jamie, Kayer is behind that. He has done an amazing job, he said, after six different Brits reached the second round in doubles at the 2019 Australian Open. I think everyone should be aware of that. Jamie Murray also suggested Kayer be enlisted by the LTA as performance director. He should be doing that job. 
as a bare minimum, I think even people at the LTA aren't even aware of all the things he can do. So the seeds of Britain's Davis Cup victory in 2015 were sown almost a decade earlier, with Kaier's emergence into the system. And with the likes of Salisbury and Luke Bambridge still in their 20s, the Louis Kaier effect could reap benefits for years to come.